Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. I've covered dozens of Total War mods so far in this channel, from Medieval 2 Stainless Steel to Attila Age of Justinian to Thrones of Britannia Shield Wall. And throughout this journey, I've gotten hundreds of requests to spotlight even more. But out of all of them, there is one mod that just keeps coming up that you guys keep wanting to see a spotlight for. And now having played it for a few weeks, it's finally time to do that. Napoleonic Total War 3 is an overhaul mod that does what no other mod has really been able to do. Create a fully immersive, 100% historically accurate and realistic Total War experience that is also seriously good fun to play. There are literally only a handful of mods that have been able to balance true historical accuracy with engaging gameplay, and the beauty of NTW3 is it does and it does it superbly. In this video, I'll be covering all the features of this fantastic mod from the hundreds of new visually brilliant units to what to expect from the campaign to the most important bit of course here which is the battles and by the end i guarantee you will have no choice but to get it downloaded and check it out for yourself so let's get started Napoleonic Total War 3, as the name suggests, is the third mod in a series where the first was developed for Medieval 1, the second was developed on the original Rome Total War, so this team has a massive history of creating this setting in Total War games. The difference here, of course, is instead of reworking the entire game from scratch like they had to do in Medieval 1 or Rome, they had an easier task of just overhauling Napoleon, which left more room to focus energy on historical accuracy, the visual quality of new units and the gameplay mechanics. The creators of NTW3, the Lords Modding Collective, have won awards for their previous mods. They've been pretty high on the mod ranks of ModDB and others and have even featured in a Creative Assembly blog interview to highlight their amazing work. The point is, it's a very popular mod that over the years has gained a lot of attention and high praise. I mean, there are even YouTube channels specifically dedicated to NTW3. And that praise, as we're going to see in this video in a moment, is definitely justified. Now, the main thing to be aware of when it comes to Napoleonic Total War 3 is it's a multiplayer first mod. And by that, I mean all of the units, the playable factions, the various time periods, the mechanics, trying to make it historically accurate and realistic. All of that is focused on being balanced and enjoyable for multiplayer first and then single player second. That doesn't mean that the single player campaigns are bad because obviously they're not. You know, they've done a lot of work there as well. It just means that the multiplayer battles in this mod mod are off the scale and the campaigns are pretty good too in multiplayer and that's where this mod really shines. When it comes to the campaigns we have Napoleon's various campaigns as well as the coalition campaign and the peninsular campaign all of which works really well. They are decently polished with the massive updates that have come out over the years and they are a lot of fun except the AI which as we all know is a difficult thing to make better in games like Empire and Napoleon. The campaigns are impressively miles ahead of vanilla especially when coupled with the brilliant immersive battles. There are literally dozens and dozens of playable factions across these campaigns, so I'm not going to go through all of them like I usually do and tell you what's available here, but from the Peninsular Campaign British Expeditionary Force to the Napoleon Campaign Imperial Guard, all these factions are fully rostered out with dozens of completely historically accurate units, brilliant start positions and initial starting challenges, and most importantly, it's good fun. The cannon and line infantry warfare especially coupled with the naval warfare we have in napoleon is so good to come back to and enjoy especially with ntw3 the main aspect of this mod though and what i'll be talking most about in this video is the battles from the moment you get into the menu to choose your faction you can see that there is an immense choice of factions across like 13 different specific time periods and prominent conflicts of this era you have the choice of factions from the egyptian campaign the second third fourth and fifth coalitions you've got factions from the peninsular campaign in the year 1809 and another set of factions from 1811 there's the war of 18 1812, the Patriotic War, the Italian War, or the Theaters of War factions. And finally, you have custom factions, all from different years around this time period. 
It might seem like a lot at first, and I get what you're feeling here, but think of all these little factions here, not as factions, but really as unique armies led by historically accurate generals, so that each one is represented by an accurate roster of units from those armies, from their visual detail to their stats, how they play in the battle, even the number of soldiers, which is completely different unit to unit. This is probably one of the most impressive varieties of playable armies and rosters I've ever seen in a mod because it's both historically accurate and super diverse. That's why the multiplayer aspect of this mod is so well developed and popular among the community. No two battles will essentially ever be the same. Best of all though, over the years the modders have done an insane job of creating new dozens of battle maps, historical battles, new and very unique scenario battles that you can get into, and much bigger unit sizes so you can get armies of up to 7,000 soldiers and more more in your battles, which is just amazing. The aim here was to create battles as accurate to Napoleonic warfare as possible and to make you feel that way. And in this area, it has absolutely smashed it. Battles are massive in scale with fabulous visual and sound effects, beautifully done unique generals, custom built maps that make it all even more immersive and fun to play. When it comes to how the battles play themselves and what values and mechanics have been tweaked to achieve that historical accuracy, we've got things like nerfed artillery, especially on the accuracy side. We've got much bigger morale penalties and limited mobility of your troops. And of course, my favorite, every line of your infantry unit will fire, which is just a must have for a mod like this. Everything here is meant to be realistic, cinematic, and good fun to play. And in that way, battles are very, very well done. Finally, guys, if you're getting into it for the first time, the only thing I'd suggest is give it a decent chance. Battles are very different to vanilla and lots of other mods that you've played. So if you don't know how the various changes work, like nerfed accuracy or slower paced infantry, you're going to have a hard time. Have a few practice battles against the AI just to get a feel for how things work. Trust me, when I say getting to know the mod even a little bit will do wonders to how much you enjoy it against human players. Overall, Napoleonic Total War 3 is one of the most impressive mods I've ever played. Does it have issues? Of course, every mod does, but you can really feel the research that's gone into make it historically accurate and make everything as realistic to Napoleonic Warfare as possible. Some things like AI won't change, but if you have some friends to play with, that's a non-issue. And literally every aspect other than that has been brilliantly done. I've been playing it for the last couple of weeks and I have loved and admired every single battle I've played, even if I've lost. And that's something that not many mods can really do. And that's it for today, guys. I've dropped a link to the NTW3 Mod DB page where you'll find the files you need to install the mod, as well as the mod's Total War Center page and Discord server, where, among other things, you can find answers to any questions you might have and more importantly, find like-minded players to get playing with. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, do give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more Total War content, gameplay, and news just like this. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.